As the Edo State Governorship election inches closer, it appears attention has shifted to the police readiness towards ensuring adequate security in the 4,519 police units and 192 ward coalition centers across the 18 local government areas of the state. Uh, if there is no enough security, the whole place will be, will be, will, will, there will be anarchy, there will be a problem everywhere. So with enough security, we can forestall those people who might envisage problems. So I quite appreciate that there is security everywhere. Well, for now, I think I have confidence in them from what I'm seeing in Benin City. Though I've not traveled uh, to other local governments, so I can't speak for what's happening in other local governments or other senatorial districts. But from what I can see within the city center, I think uh, they are ready. We will not be experiencing much glitches around here. But I hope what they are doing here, they are replicating in the interlands and the interiors. Meanwhile, the Deputy Inspector General of Police in charge of the police contingents for the Edo State Governorship Election, Frank Uba, accompanied by other top police officers, is here to address the media, observers and other critical stakeholders about their level of preparation during, before and after the election. Provide a level playing field for everybody. We will be politically neutral. We will be professional. We will enforce the laws strictly, firmly, but politely. We will hold people accountable when they infringe on the laws. We will make arrest where necessary. and will ensure that those who go out of their way to break the laws don't go, don't go scot-free. While reassuring the about 2,629,025 registered voters of adequate security, the DIG said the force has deployed troops on the land, air and water to protect and provide surveillance within the state during the election on Saturday. On vote buying and voter intimidation, the DIG threatens that anyone caught will be brought to book. As we are speaking, you could be, don't be shocked that vote buying is going on in people's bedroom, in people's home. But what are what will we do is to ensure that those that now try to trade on votes within those areas that are under our radar are stopped and brought to books as quickly as possible. The police further revealed that special attention would be given to physically challenged persons, nursing mothers, elderly and sick persons on the election day. In Benin, for News Central, I'm Austin Azul.